Well, hello everyone, this is Peter Brown with Oak Show Weather for the next seven days. Here we are heading in towards the latter portion of July. I know it's hard to believe that we are staring down at August already. Unfortunately, as we go throughout the summer and here into the mid portion of the summer, it doesn't look like this really wet, humid pattern is going to be letting up that much. Doesn't look like it's going to be quite as bad as it's been over the past month or so here in the Burlington area over the next seven to ten days, but still, you're going to have to keep that umbrella handy as we're going to see those chances of showers almost every day again. Starting our period on Friday, advertised at this time of the year should be in the mid 80s, and we're going to be hovering in the upper 70s to around 80 as we have a kind of stiff easterly wind coming in off of the ocean. So a little bit different feel to the air than what we've been used to with this really warm southerly flow coming in off of the Atlantic south of us. Notice as we round out a period again the next Thursday, again, average highs should be in the mid 80s, and we're going to be right around there, maybe a little bit warmer. So we'll have to keep an eye on that as well as we might see some heat building back in here in the Burlington area. And of course, as we get in towards the middle portion of summer, our length of day, unfortunately, keeps getting shorter and shorter. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Climate Prediction Center is calling for us in terms of temperatures and precipitation over the next seven days. Looking at our temperature map, looks like most of New England and almost all Almost the entire country is going to see a chance of average to above average temperatures. The only caveat to that is if you're traveling down into the mid-Atlantic or the upper south, that's the only area where they're going to be seeing below average temperatures, but it's still pretty warm over most of the U.S. And of course, looking at our precipitation chances again, nothing too much different than we've been seeing, but it looks like here in eastern Massachusetts, we may be able to eke out just an average precipitation week. So hopefully we won't see too many of those flooding rains that we've been seeing over the past couple of weeks. So as we go ahead, let's take a look at those seven days of weather coming up. And again, starting out a period on Friday and starting out our weekend, we'll be seeing again the chance of showers Friday and Saturday. Temperatures again hovering around 80 on Friday and then just a couple degrees warmer as we get into Saturday. Now, when we get into Sunday and then into Monday, the start of your work week, looks like the sun is going to come out for a couple of days. I know that's something we haven't really been able to say since going back into the spring. It looks like the rain is going to stay away from us on Sunday and Monday. And those temperatures, again, will respond in kind, getting up into the mid 80s. So really pleasant conditions. And actually by Monday, it looks like that air mass is going to finally dry out a little bit. Unfortunately, just in time for Tuesday, though, and going right through the end of our period, the humidity is going to return on Tuesday. Those showers and thunderstorm chances each and every day come back and our temperatures are going to climb up into the upper 80s on Tuesday. They're gonna back off a little bit on Wednesday because I think there's gonna be a little bit more in terms of cloud cover and maybe steadier rain, but then sun is mostly back with us Thursday with scattered heavy showers and downpours and temperatures again in the upper 80s. So everyone, get out there, enjoy the weather, and have a great week.